Hi guys, my name is Gavin, and in this video I'm going to show you how to, um, I will be starting a Blender game tutorial series, kind of like my other one, but we're going to go, we're going to go, um, we're going to go a little bit more advanced than this, in which I'll do um, health pickups and so probably maybe some ammo. I'm not sure yet. Um, so I hope you guys will enjoy this. So to start off, let's right click on the camera and hit X delete, and then right click on the light and hit X delete. On this cube right here, let's go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender render to Blender game. In the middle now, let's do add sensor, um, keyboard. Let's name this as forward, like that. I'll do W, minimize this. Let's do add sensor, keyboard. Let's do backward. I'll put this as S, minimize this. Add sensor, keyboard. I'll call it left, put the key as A, minimize this. And add a sensor, keyboard, name it right. And I'll put it as D. Um, next, what I'm going to do is you add controller motion, name it as forward, like that. And let's put 0 0.3, minimize this, and then add, add actuator, sorry, motion. Let's name it as backward, B-A-C-K-W-R-D. I'll name this as zero, negative 0 0.3, minimize this, add another motion actuator, let's call it left. And let's do negative 0 0.2, minimize this, and add actuator motion. And let's put this as 0 0.2 right here. That one, sorry. And I'll name it as right. And I'll minimize this. Next, since these should all be the same named, let's drag it across like this. Drag it across. And drag it across. I'm going to minimize these to make sure to make it look nicer. So if I go out and hit play, we should see back, forward, left, right. The side, the side should be a little slower, but the forward and back should be good like that. All right, that's good. Now in our cube right here, let's add a collision sensor. Um, collision right here. And I'll rename it to um, collision, all lowercase. And let's put, um, what should we do? This first one will be with property health, like that. And the second one, let's name as um, collision. Actually, on this top one, though, let's put collision health, like that. And then on this bottom one, let's put collision enemy, like that. And let's put the property as enemy. So we've got collision health and collision enemy. All right, next what we're gonna do is add two actuators. This first one is gonna be property. And let's put property as um, health, like that. Actually health plus, like that. Minimize this for now. And let's do add actuator property. And let's put health, and actually let's put minus at the end, like that. And I'll minimize this for now. Let's now add, game property, let's call it health, make it an integer, let's put it to 100. So what we're going to do now is on our health plus, let's have it so that if we collide with the health pack, it's going to add 20. And if we collide with an enemy, it's going to do health, oops, health, and let's do minus 10. Actually, add. And then on this one, let's put add. So colliding with the health pack is going to add double the health of what it takes for to collide with an enemy. All right, that's good. Next, what we're going to do is click on this eye right here, do game, and then show B debug properties like that. That's good. Next, I'm going to change this from static to character and click actor. So if we were to hit play now, we should see health is labeled in the corner and our player should have gravity in the middle. All right, I'm gonna change the color of our player to let's say, um, I'll do blue and I'll drag him up and I'll hit shift and C. So shift and C to put our crosshair back in the middle and let's do spacebar and then add plane, add a plane. On this plane, I'm gonna do S and 10. Then S and two, one more time. I'll call this plane floor, like that. 
And I'll give the plane the color of, let's say, red. All right, how about, I'll call this floor material, and I'll put the, uh, the color as green. So if I were to hit 7 to go on the top view and hit play, we can see our characters moving around like this. That's good. I'm going to right click on our floor right here though. Hit um, tab to go into edit mode or go from object mode to edit mode. Hit 7 to go into top view. Hit W and do subdivide, W subdivide, W subdivide, W subdivide. So this should make about 100 little squares. And I'll click on this right here. Click on the face view. Hit A. Then hit B and drag over all these. B and drag over all this. B and then drag over all this. And B and drag over all this. Then we're going to make a little maze out of this by, let's say, I'll do this part. B like this. All right. B like this. And then B like this. All right. And actually, I'll do this corner right here, too. All right, what I'm now gonna do is create a new material by hitting this plus right here. I'm gonna hit new, and I'm gonna make this blue. Like that. Now I'm gonna click assign. So now this part of the map is gonna be blue, and I'm gonna hit E to extrude it. So now our map should look like this. So if I play now, we should see that he'll hit the wall, and there's the edge of his map. All right, this is good. Next, what we're gonna do is with our player selected, so right click on your player, hit object, snap, cursor to selected, like that. Now I'm gonna hit base, uh, space bar and then add cube like this, like that. I'm gonna add a new cube. I'm gonna give him character physics and add a game property and let's put a health on it, like that. And I'm gonna rename this guy as health right here. Actually, I'm going to go back to my player really quick, and on our collision for our health, let's make these tap. So the, both collision sensors on our player should be tap. I'm going to right click on this guy right here. And actually with our, um, let's make sure that our, there's a player property on our player too. Like that. There's a player property. Let's have a few collides with the property player. Uh, property. Let's name this player hits. Let's rename it to health. Actually, sorry, not a property. Uh, collision with the property player. What we're going to do add sensor, edit object, and then end object. But we should see at the same time it's going to delete the it's going to add health to the player. So if I hit play now, we hit this, you see the health goes up to 120. And to signify that these are health packs, let's change the color of them to yellow. So if I hit play now, we see that once he hits the yellow box or the orange or whatever, it's going to um apply some health. So I'm going to drag this away. And let's actually move this to one corner like this, like that. Then do Shift and D, drag one to another corner, like that. And right click on both, sorry. Shift and D, drag them to these corners. And let's add one of them in the middle. So if I were to hit play now, we should see that if I run over to the cube, hit this, it's gonna add 20 health. Add 20 health, add 20 health, add 20 health, add 20 health. That's good. So now what we're going to do is create an enemy for our player. And let's add a red cube now. Let's do spacebar and then add cube. Let's make this cube red. So now what I'm going to do is drag this out. Drag this out. I'm going to make this cube red. Let's call the material red. Let's drag this to the red. And let's make it so that it's shadeless. So if we hit play now, we should see a red cube over there. Next, what we're going to do is right click on this. And let's um, rename it to enemy. 
And let's create an always sensor, always, like that. Then let's do add actuator, steering, change it to path following, and leave it like this for now. And let's do add actuator motion, let's do move, and let's put this as 0 0.2, like that. And I'll leave it for now. Actually, I'll connect these. Next, what we're going to do is create a navigation mesh for this right here. So I'm going to go right here, click navigation mesh, and I'll build a navigation mesh. So we should see that there's a bunch of stuff that comes up. So this is what the player is going to take to get to the player. Um, this is what the enemy is going to take to get to the player. Let's right click on our enemy and change it from static to character and click actor. And let's put the target object is the player. Actually, let's actually rename our player to player. Like that. The target object is going to be player. Like that. And the navigation mesh is going to be nav mesh. So the axis we want to track him on is the Y. Facing Y, that's good. And I'll put all these, visualize. So if I hit play now, we should see he's going to track to the player like this. That's good. All right, that's good. Next what we're going to do is I'll actually slow this enemy down just a bit. Uh, let's put 0 0.1, like that. All right. Now what we're going to do is do um, add game property. Let's have enemy, like that. So if we hit play now, we should see that once he touches the player, it's going to take away 10 health. That's good. That's what we want to see. All right. So now what we're going to do is have it so that if the, um, if the enemy collides with the player, add a collision sensor. Let's add a collision sensor, let's have the property player, like that. It's going to delete. So add actuator, edit object, end object. So if we hit play now, we should see that once it collides with the player, it's going to delete. All right, this is going good. I'm now going to go back to my player, and I decided to change something up. So let's have um, the collision health, I'm sorry, the collision enemy, let's have it take away 25 health, or 30 health. So minus 30. This will make it a bit harder since there's so many health packs lying around. And let's add now 10 enemies. Let's keep doing shift and D, so let's copy all these enemies. I want to make it pretty challenging so and I'll right click on this um, this one um, health pack right here and hit X delete so if we hit play now we see they're going in from all certain angles and I'm going to pick up some health and you see that they've really depleted my health already that's okay because I'll get it right back and this is how it's gonna work all right I'm gonna let them get my health to zero really quick but if it gets to zero you see it won't do anything so what we're now gonna do is I'm gonna hit file and save right here and I'm going to save this actually to my desktop as um, Blender Game um, Enemy Rush. Let's call it that. I'm going to hit Save. Let's right click on this player. Let's have right here that if the health of our player reaches zero, so add game property. Let's have um, prop, sorry. Let's call it dead. And if the property health is equal to zero, what we're going to do is have it restart the game by going to game and restart game. And that's just going to reload the scene that we're in. So I'm now going to hit file and save. So file and save. And if I hit play now, whoops, that was weird. Drag this down. If I hit play now, we should see that if the player gets touched by the enemies, no, no, no. Once it reaches zero, it should restart. Oops, let me hit file and save one more time. File save. And there it goes. Not yet. Huh. 
Huh, that's weird. All right. Okay. Just trying to see if there's a problem here. Looks like something's going wrong. Let me just check. File, save. I apologize for this. No, oh, that's kind of weird. Let me see. The property health is at zero. Oh, let's say less than zero. Okay, my bad. <laughs> All right, hit play now. Okay, yeah, that's going to work. I will save it again. Okay, there it is. All right, guys, that's all I have for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. But for the time being, thanks for watching and have a good day.